welcome to my project. Hello, my name is Farrell. This is my project about ancient Egypt. Egypt is a hot country in North Africa. The people who lived there thousands of years ago are called ancient Egyptians. The ancient Egyptians built their towns and cities along the river called the Nile. Without the waters of the river Nile, the amazing civilization of ancient Egypt might never have existed. The Nile provided water for drinking and for watering crops. Every year, its floods left a strip of rich, dark soil on both sides of the river. Farmers grew their crops in these fertile strips. The Nile was also important for transport. It was a trade route for the Egyptians. Now let's talk about the pharaohs. Egyptian kings were called pharaohs. The pharaoh was the richest and most important person in the whole country. A pharaoh made laws and gave orders. He led his soldiers to fight enemies. He went out hunting in his chariot. He also met visitors from other countries. All pharaohs were crowns. Some were decorated with gold and jewels. Who is the famous pharaoh in ancient Egypt? First, Menes. Menes is founding king of the first ancient Egypt dynasty. The pharaoh Menes unites the kingdom of Lower and Upper Egypt under one crown. Next, Ramses II. Ramses II, often called Ramses the Great, he ruled Egypt for 67 years. He is famous today because he built more statues and monuments than any other pharaoh. Third, Tutankhamun or King Tut. One of the most interesting facts about King Tut is that he became ruler at the age of nine. That is why he was called the boy king. After his death of his unpopular father, he changed his name to Tutankhamun which means the living image of Amun. His hope was to restore popularity of the pharaoh and try to fix the damage that his father had done. Next, Hatshepsut. Hatshepsut decided to become a pharaoh after her dad died. She became a woman pharaoh for 20 years. Rather than go to war, she established trade relationships with many foreign countries and she made Egypt a rich nation. Her time of rule was a time of peace and prosperity. Lost, Cleopatra. Cleopatra was born a princess of Egypt. She was smart and cunning growing up, and she learned a lot about how the country was ruled from her father. Cleopatra is the last pharaoh of Egypt. She was actually Greek, not Egyptian. Now let's talk about mummies in ancient Egypt. Mummy is a body that has been dried out to make it last for many years. When an important person died, Egyptians wrapped their body so they didn't rot. This is called making a mummy. How were mummies made? First, embalming the body. The embalmers wash his body with good smelling palm wine and rinse it with the waters of the Nile. Next, one of the embalmers makes a cut in the left side of the body and removes off the internal organs. The body is now covered and stuffed with natron which will dry it out. After 40 days the body is washed again with water from the null then it is covered with oil. Next, the dehydrated internal organs are wrapped in linen and return to the body. Now wrapping the mummies. First, head and neck are wrapped with strips of linen. Then the fingers and toes are individually wrapped. Then the arms and legs are wrapped separately. A priest reads spells out while the mummy is being wrapped. Now the arms and legs are tied together. Then more linen strips are wrapped around the body. A cloth is wrapped around the body and the picture of God Osiris is painted on its surface. Finally, a large cloth is wrapped around the entire mummy. The funeral is held for the deceased and the family mourns his death. Finally, 
The body and its coffin are placed inside a large stone in the tomb, and the body is ready for a journey through the underworld. Now let's talk about the pyramid. The pyramids are the stone tombs of the pharaohs, and they have stood for thousands of years, filled with many hidden secrets. When a pharaoh died, his coffin was put inside an enormous stone pyramid. These large pyramids were built for three different pharaohs. The smaller pyramids were for their families. How to build a pyramid? Workers cut stone blocks and drag them along. They pull the blocks up a ramp onto the pyramid. After many years of work, they put the last stone on top. Finally, workers made the pyramid smooth and shiny. After many years, Egyptians stopped building pyramids. They buried important people in underground tombs instead. The Great Pyramids in Egypt, called the Pyramid of Giza, and the Egyptians built sphinx statues to guard important areas such as tombs and temples, called the Great Sphinx of Giza. Sphinx is a huge stone statue with a body of a lion and a head of a human. What is Egyptian writing called? Egyptian writing is called hieroglyphs. Hieroglyphs is made from two Greek words. Hieros means holy and glyphy means writing. So hieroglyphs means holy writing. Egyptian writing was made up of lots of pictures called hieroglyphs. People called scribes could read and write hieroglyphs. A scribe's job was to write letters and keep records. He also had to teach children to read and write. These hieroglyphs were painted on a tomb. They are supposed to protect a dead person. Now let's try to write my name in hieroglyphs. I use the hieroglyphs typewriter and here it is. Last time I visited the British Museum in London and I captured about Egyptian sculpture and here are some pictures that I got from the museum. Here I try to make a dead mask by my own. This is all about my ancient Egypt project. Thank you for watching and listening and I hope you like it.